So let's take a look at the spreadsheet and see how it will aid us in sorting out the accountabilities. So as a quick reminder, on module three, when you did the process strategic analysis, you listed the strategic objectives down the left and the process is across the top and you uh, scaled the performance of each of the major processes or process groups against each strategic objective. So in the case of increased profitability, there are one, two, three, four, five process groups that link up to it. And as you recall, we then did the similar work for the projects. And then during the organization design section, what we did is we took that same analysis with the strategic objectives and those same core processes across the top. And everywhere where there was a, a performance score, we then added a bit more detail. We looked at the impact, failure, control, and the net score as a methodology to begin sorting out which area should have a leadership role in running that team. So these are the same five linkages that we had set up in the Module 3 process linkage. And all we've done is added the detail. The impact is the important thing I want you to pay attention to. If we now move over to the Accountabilities tab, what we've done here is we've, uh, through the spreadsheet, taken each of the strategic objectives and listed beneath it all the process groupings that you've been using throughout this exercise. Then what we've done is highlighted so that you can enter in just the ones where there is a determined linkage. So again, these are the same five linkages that, that we saw before. We've just uh, pivoted the table so that they're on the left axis now. We've also brought over the impact score that you provided earlier on. And the issue here being, if you have a process with a high impact, you probably need to have perhaps a higher skilled group of people associated with it than one that has a lower impact. Of course, that's all in light of how important that strategic objective is. So an increased profitability has a low weighting and in training has a low impact. So we can um, sort out our teams accordingly. What we're going to do here is merely enter in who you would like to be the reporter sponsor person versus who is the apprentice uh, versus who are the job performers who are actually working in the process, people who have and we're soliciting for input information, and then finally the decider or owner of the process. But we also suggest you do is put in what's the performance metric we're going to use uh, associated with this uh, reward analysis, and then finally what are the performance targets which are required in order to achieve the strategic objective success. So this spreadsheet allows you to begin working through with your team individual accountabilities.